people are wondering how long until a COVID-19 vaccine is approved in the U.S. Here in the Triangle, a company is working on a vaccine to help people develop long-term immunity against the virus. Today, we got an inside look at their work. CBS 17 digital reporter Judith Rotana explains what sets this research apart while scientists track the coronavirus. The researchers here at Heat Biologics just recently turned over to COVID-19 research after spending years working on cancer. And they say their experience with cancer is what's helping them move along quickly in their process. It's, it's such important work in medical research. You need to be both safe and efficacious. That's the focus here as scientists try to develop a long-term immunity to COVID-19 in people. We're seeing promising results that way. So we feel like we're on track as we're moving this product into manufacturing. The testing isn't ready for human trial yet. The T cells that we generated actually invade the lung and destroy cancer in the lung, which is why we think that this could be a good vaccine for COVID-19, which is a respiratory disease. There's no timeline for how long it could take to get this out to the public. Wolf says they're working as fast as they can. Most of the other companies out there are focused on generating an antibody response which is important, but you really need both. Heat Biologic says their vaccine could work alone or in combination with others for added immunity. Russia recently announced they have a vaccine ready to go now. Wolf says there's too much unknown about that vaccine or COVID-19 to determine if it actually works. I don't think anyone does because you really haven't done uh, very full studies with this vaccine. I think in the coming months we'll learn more. These scientists say they're ready to take on any new information. We're used to it. <laughs> it things change very fast in the adaptive market. And of course, there are several other COVID-19 vaccines in the works. We have updates on a few of those online at CBS17.com. In Morrisville, I'm digital reporter Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News.